Meantime, police are investigating two officer-involved shootings happening just hours apart. Brittany Edney is live near Metro headquarters with the latest on the case. Brittany. Two officer-involved shootings happen nearly 10 hours apart, and in both cases, Metro says the suspects shot at officers. Metro got a call about a suicidal man in his vehicle Saturday night near Jones and Vegas Drive. Investigators say when police arrived, the suspect shot at officers through the pickup truck he was in. One officer fired back and then took cover. When backup arrived, officer got closer to the truck and found the man dead inside. It is unknown at this time if the subject was deceased based on one of Metro's actions or if the injury was self-inflicted. One neighbor who lives on that street says this neighborhood sees a lot of crime and violence. Well, I mean, if they're shooting at the cops, I think they should intend to get shot back. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, generally speaking. I mean, someone shot at me, I'd shoot back. Earlier that day, a 16-hour standoff ended when SWAT entered an apartment and confronted an armed man. Officers ended up shooting him. Metro says that incident started after a woman told them she was sexually assaulted and kidnapped, and when police arrived to that apartment, the suspect fired at them. They made contact with, with him numerous times on the phone, at which time he stated he was not going to come out, and at which time he also stated that he did want to die, in fact die. But they remained on the scene and attempted several less than lethal factors in attempt to get this individual into custody. By our count, there were 16 officer-involved shootings last year through the first week of August. Comparatively, for 2018, there's been a total of 12 so far. Both cases are still under investigation, and police will provide more details about those shootings within 72 hours. Reporting live, Brittany Edney, 8 News Now.